<laughs> Just eat up the tokens. <laughs> this is not a serious review at all. <laughs> <sighs>
then when the product is shiny and ready, it's wrapped carefully, then boxed, and it's ready to be sent. Why did we decide to order a gaming table? I think mostly because everybody does it these days. You just look at a video from Dice Tower and they have a beautiful gaming table and it's a trend. I mean, come on, we, we needed something uh, representative. Exactly, no, it was a joke, that was a joke. We really wanted to play games in style. We have always played a lot of games in the office and we've played them on, we've had pretty cool tables, but pretty normal tables, like dinner tables. And at some point, uh, especially when we were moving to this new awesome, awesome office, uh, we decided, hey, we really need to upgrade our gaming. And so we started looking for the coolest ways so on how to, how to game on, for, for gaming surfaces. And uh, yeah, uh, and here we are. A gaming table like this came into mind. Actually, I, I, back then I didn't know about the existence of hexagon gaming tables. I, I, I had only thought of, like, normal square ones. Uh, but uh, that's another story, because uh, this was an amazing surprise for me, this particular table, because the hexagon shape is really cool for gaming, I think, and really good. Actually, it was a good opportunity to try a few different shapes or a few different types. Not only the shapes, but also the type of wood and, and a surface and stuff like that. So, yeah. Whew. It wasn't my job, so... <laughs> yeah, that was uh, it was my job. And the biggest problem with these tables is that they are very heavy. And you need at least two to three people to even lift that thing. Mm. And in, if you are assembling it in another room, and then you need to transport it, and half of it is for solid metal, then it can be quite tricky. It is true that when you order a gaming table, you should be ready <laughs> for the task of assembling a gaming table because, I mean, you said it's very heavy, but uh, then again, the fact that it's very heavy is one of the key features <laughs> yeah, yeah. of the gaming table. You know, that's what, yeah. what you said uh, I mean, earlier when we talked. You do it only once, so uh, uh, I actually yeah. appreciate those details like the hidden screws that you mentioned uh, because they make it look even more luxurious or uh, cleaner, whatever. Yeah. And probably it will live for many, many decades. <laughs> it's true. It's quite indestructible. That's, yeah. that's true. The best thing about it, you start. I mean, for, for me, it's simple. It's a, it's a really solid wooden table. Uh, it's very heavy. It's, um, it has a very nice surface, so it's very well made. And uh, that's what I'm looking for, for in, in gaming tables in general. 
Uh, it has uh, lots of ad 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 uh, additional features, but uh, uh, to be honest, I don't care about them that much. For me, it's uh, mostly about the quality of, uh, of the thing. So for me, it's probably this is the, the number one thing. Mm, interesting. I agree with you that the, the quality of the wood and the whole like heaviness and, and the, the, the quite perfection of, of the finish of the table, actually. It is, it is, a, it is uh, a quite beautifully put together table. And you said you don't care that much about all the additional features. Well, I love the additional features. <laughs> Because like the the, the um, LED lights which are integrated, which you connect to an app on your phone, uh, the cup holders which are really cool, which you put in uh, using a special uh, they call it uh, a rail system or yeah, a, a rail yeah. system. Those I think are really cool, and I mean, I love the surfaces for gaming, the velveteen. I know some people might disagree a little, <laughs> but I just love the ability to just easily lift cards off of this, for example. That's this is yeah, amazing. that's that's true. This is quite beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. No no problems. I can take it as many times as I want. Like if it was on a surface. If can <laughs> Good job. Impossible. It's perfect demonstration, yeah. Thank you. Uh, and so for me. I like the LED lights. I really like the uh, lighting, uh, lights that can be provided and set up which weather you like, if they are bright or dim or in the colors of the players and uh, the flexibility of this is enormous. I mean, come on, some of them can even play music, so... Yeah, that's true. <laughs> it's true, it's true. Uh, and ours, ours don't, actually, extreme. but... but... <laughs> yeah. That's true, and some of them have uh, wireless charging points. Oh yeah, you can have. But that would be. I would be. I'm unhappy that we didn't go with that. <laughs> Being able to wirelessly charge your phone on here. <laughs> it could be. Roskiller does offer that as well, uh, but but we don't have that because we didn't. You know, no phones while gaming. <laughs> true. I understand that. But you know what? I think I uh, came up with uh, another very cool feature. And this is the the option to actually uh, cover the game inside. Yeah. Like uh, because we're playing uh, all the games in the office, uh, usually uh, some heavier campaign games. And uh, when people start those games, uh, they usually take the space, and and we need to uh, have the tables clean for the rest of the week for testing the prototypes and and so on. Uh, so it's. So, so it's great when you can just uh, hide the game inside, just cover it with those uh, uh, wooden planks and, and uh, you have a clean table and it's it's uh, quite easy to do that, Yeah. right? Yeah. So I really like that. So especially for us as someone, as, as our company who tests prototypes a lot, who constantly need to be on the table and it's, it's a high effort to just like pack them away and keep like, you can just... You know, have one layer of game, leave it there, and then cover it with, with the wooden planks and have another layer of the table. Yeah, uh, it's cool. It's two gaming surfaces on top of each other. Yeah, uh, that's true. true. But what about, the, what about the surface, actually? Uh, you mentioned the surface as being one of the cool features. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'm, I know that uh, when we are uh, like cleaning the table, then this can be a bit, a bit of a mess. Like... Uh, like uh, especially when it's a black surface then uh, every uh, small thing is uh, pretty well visible in there mm -hmm. yeah and um, you you usually need to vacuum clean it to, to get rid of it so uh, yes cleaning it is I think pretty high effort uh, but if you're buying a gaming table like this you should be also not only ready to assemble it but also to clean it once in a while <laughs> Because <laughs> it's true. Yeah. So, I mean, an obvious drawback of having a lowered inside is that it is more difficult to get stuff out of there, get dust out of there, uh, it gets stuck in the corners. Um, that is very true. Um, and vacuuming it is usually the only option to, to properly clean it. Uh, but I can't imagine a system where you have a lowered inside where, where this wouldn't happen. It's still... Yeah. yeah. Maybe if there is a removable removable bottom. 
Oh, <laughs> like with some drain or genius idea. or drain. Yeah, some, something like that. Yeah, spray some water some and automatic you know. or just just a valve. You just turn on a valve and there's like water sprays on the table and just flushes everything down. Maybe even your components. You yeah. just put the game box down here and all the water just floods all the components into the box and then you close it. <laughs> I mean, maybe we can just put some small Roomba in, inside. And... <laughs> <laughs> A mini Roomba? That would be... Yeah. Oh, my <laughs> God. Oh, great addition, actually. <laughs> oh, we should sell that idea to dust colors. <laughs> oh, that's a genius idea. A mini Roomba going around in the table. Ah, <laughs> oh, perfect. I can envision that already. Ah, oh, I would call it <laughs> like eating Jerry. All your, eating all your tokens. <laughs> <laughs> Just eat up the tokens. <laughs> 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 oh, this is not a serious review at all. <laughs> <laughs> it is true that someone always has to, you know, bite the bullet and clean, clean it up. the table. <laughs> <laughs> It is, it is yeah. how it is. It's most of the time me or... Yeah, it is true. But one really cool feature, I think, is that we got this as well. Yeah. The, the brush. brush. The beautiful brush that allows you to uh, nicely brush the surface and make it all beautiful and smooth. I mean, the Roomba could do that for you, right? But <laughs> now the Roomba will probably leave the lines to black ones. Oh yeah, that's true. One hour later. What are we talking about? <laughs> what? Okay. Next question, please. <laughs> so this table, I remember, was brilliant for playtesting. Deal with the devil. Yeah. Because the hexagon shape is just. That was it. That was that was the discovery of the hexagon shape for me personally because I I love it so much because it still allows everyone to be kind of looking into the center of the table at yeah. the same time mm. and and but sitting at different angles and everyone has their own like segment their own surface and there's no like dispute about where does my surface end and where does your begin. <laughs> Actually, I really like those uh, LED lights uh, for this purpose because they really add to the atmosphere. The, the, uh, yeah. Oh yeah. Because when we've been playing, I remember we've been playing the Little Devil. Then we've been we turned on these uh, red lights. So this uh, red devilish. Uh, exactly. Yeah. 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 That was very cool. That is very cool. So the LED the the, the LED lights uh, add to atmosphere brilliantly. Yeah. Um, I remember we. Have we done that yet? Have we played Nemesis on the big table yet? <laughs> Not yet. Uh, I don't we think haven't so. done that yet. Oh, imagine that, the atmosphere for Nemesis on that table. And you can also, like, these particular lights also allow you to do animations and... But it's also pretty practical because, uh, as you can see, for example, here, those uh, screens, uh, they, they're very big and uh, it's usually not so easy to see inside them. But when you get the light from behind, then... Uh, it's it true. Also helps a lot. Everything in here is like nicely lit, and yep. and you can see the light from from the from the table, like your inside of the screens. Uh, if you have a light from above, then then uh, sometimes it can be difficult to see inside of like player screens. That's true. So, but what game? So so we loved playtesting deal with the devil here. Um, I once on this table played. Uh, uh, eclipse, <laughs> because it's a hexagon, and Eclipse has a lot of hexagons, <laughs> and it's a black surface, so that was beautiful. As I said, we haven't played Nemesis yet, but we should do that as well. So it feels most like, because of the LEDs, the best games to play in these tables are thematic games. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, probably. Because the lights and the whole massiveness of the table allows you to really like get into it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And and the theme. And long games. And long games. Yeah. Because. I don't mind like leaving them on the table because you can always cover it uh, and okay. leave it there for the next yeah. session. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Next question, please.